Hey guys, I have a very important piece of information here I want to share with you and I'm going to do my best to bring this information to you. I pray that uh, this would give you the opportunity to study this out more. Very important details that I have just found. Someone sent me earlier today a Bible verse Proverbs 7.20, where it talks about the full moon, and I did some research into this and found that in the Old Testament, this term full moon is only used twice. It's only used twice, and there are very, very key de details here that I want to share with you. Okay, so the first scripture I want to look at is Psalm 81.3. It says, blow up the trumpet... At the new moon, when we look at the new, it's number 2320, Chodesh, new moon or month, okay? It says, blow up the trumpet at the new moon, and then it goes on, it says, at the full, at the full, on our solemn feast day. And so what does that word mean, the full? The word full is 3677, which means full moon. Full moon, okay? And it says, blow up the trumpet at the new moon and at the full moon on our solemn feast day. This is what feast day, solemn feast day 2282 from the Hebrew, the Chag is a festival gathering, feast, pilgrim, a, gather, a festival gathering, a feast, or a pilgrim feast. So a solemn feast day is a pilgrim feast. Okay, we, all, we know that there are only three pilgrim feasts in Israel. Three pilgrim feasts where you need to travel to Israel to be in Israel. It's a uh, feast of Passover, the feast of Pentecost, and the feast of Tabernacles. Okay, trumpets does not apply because it's not a pilgrim feast. We're looking at the original meaning here in the Hebrew. So trumpets is not a pilgrim feast. This is a very important detail that we're finding here. So this would only apply, blow the trumpet, it says, on our solemn feast day at the new moon and at the full moon. Okay? Now, now we have three pilgrim feasts. One is Passover, one is Pentecost, and one is Tabernacle. Okay, and so we're looking at the trumpet, we're looking at the jubilee, we're looking at when the trumpet is going to blow this year, and we have the feast of we have the feast of tabernacles, but that's past, okay, that's past the September 23rd sign. That's past the September 23rd sign. So we're still in this window of Pentecost. We see that when we came to the 70th week of of uh of, of the 70th Pentecost from the rebirth of Israel, it talks about a covenant with many for one week. So we're still in this window within one week of Pentecost. I would say that this is a window we need to be considering here. We're within one week of Pentecost. And so here we're, we're doing this. We're, we're watching this time frame. We're watching this. And it says then that we need to blow the trumpet at the new moon or at the full moon on the solemn feast day. Okay. All right. Now I want to go and I want to show you this other scripture that, that I saw. Okay. It's Proverbs 7, 19 and 20. This is an amazing connection here, guys. The only two times in the entire Bible where this term is used, full moon. Very important connection here. Okay. 
And you can study these out in the English, uh, the, the, in, the, in the King James, uh, if you would like. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking you to the interlinear Bible, and we can see uh, what it says then in the interlinear Bible, and this connects the English to the Hebrew. Okay. It says, For not the manager is at home, he is gone on a long journey. Okay, the manager is not at home. He is gone on a long journey. Okay, it says he has taken a bag of money with him and he will come at the appointed day. He has taken a bag of money with him, and he will come at the appointed day. Now look at the word appointed. Okay, look at the word appointed. What is the appointed day? The appointed day is number 3677. This is the original text from the Hebrew. He has taken a bag of money with him. The manager is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him. And he will come home at the appointed day. The word appointed is 3677. Kese o kese. Full moon full moon look at this guys look at this this is an amazing connection the solemn feast day the full moon and then it talks about the manager who has gone away on a long journey He has taken a bag of money with him, and he will come home at the appointed day, on the day of the full moon, the solemn feast day, with the full moon, where the trumpet will be blown. Blow up the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon, on our appointed feast day, on our solemn feast day. The manager is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him he will come home at the appointed day. Is June 9th, 2017, the full moon, one week after the 70th Pentecost? Is this the appointed day? Tying together the 70th Pentecost the midweek events that we have seen, the third day events that we have seen, and now the manager returning on the appointed day, on the full moon day, the day of our solemn feast, Pentecost waiting, having this be a season of time that we are watching and not just one specific 24-hour day. And this is part of the fact that Pentecost is not on a set day in the calendar, but it is a day count that needs to be counted, that needs to be watched, that needs to be considered. We come to the day number 50 and we are in the middle of all these events, so we remain vigilant. We remain watching. We continue to 
to keep our hope on this window of time because the promise is there. When Jesus ascended, he said, do not leave Jerusalem, wait in Jerusalem. And then it says, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, was fully come. Does this have to do with Pentecost coming to the full moon? This is what this text says. There's two, there's two uses of solemn feast. There's two uses of full moon. And it's connected to a solemn feast. And it wouldn't be trumpets. It wouldn't be trumpets because trumpets is not a pilgrim feast. We have three pilgrim feasts. Passover. Pentecost and Tabernacles. And the blowing of the trumpet is tied to a solemn feast, a feast of pilgrimage, and it's connected to the new moon, and it's connected to the full moon. And right here then, in Proverbs 7, 19 and 20, the manager is not at home. He has gone away on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him, and he will return at the appointed day. Appointed day. Appointed day. He will return at the appointed day on a full moon. Appointed being number 3677. Look at the connection to the date of Pentecost. Full moon, appointed day, 3677. Third month, sixth or seventh day, and then we're there. We are in the window, and we wait for the full moon. We await for the appointed day. Is this the day of our, of our wedding? Is this the day when the manager of the house will return who has been away on a long journey? The manager of the house is not, as ho not at home. He is gone. He's on a long journey. He's taken a bag of money with him. He will return at the full moon at the appointed day. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. I thank you so much for this amazing revelation. Thank you for my brother or sister in Christ who sent me the passage of Scripture from Proverbs 7.20. And Lord, you showed an amazing secret here, an amazing jewel of mystery that we, oh, we're so excited about this possibility, Lord. Is this the last mystery? Is this the mystery we've been waiting for? to understand how we could know when you were going to be coming on the solemn feast day on the full moon. Oh, Lord, we just, we're waiting for you. We're looking, we're searching, Lord, and we are searching together. And I thank you, Lord, that you've given me the opportunity to walk through this with my brothers and sisters and to share each of us all together this a great and amazing joy and wonder and mystery. Lord, we long for your coming, and we certainly pray and hope that tomorrow is the day. Tonight is the day. Now is the day, Lord. When, oh God, we, we are longingly waiting for you to come. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us your promises so richly, so deeply, and we're so excited and want to be ready and waiting when you arrive. So come, Lord Jesus. Amen.